Hey you guys, I got messages for Aries today. Um doing Aries Libra Virgo. I'm gonna try to slide Sagittarius in there if I can because I got some things to take care of today. But um welcome to my channel. Welcome, welcome, welcome. New subscribers, welcome to my day ones. Hey, what's going on, y'all? Um, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Happy um Monday okay um aries let's tap into the energy i feel like there could be some type of um the tower is here as i was shuffling a deck so you could be dealing with a scorpio or another aries or a libra or you could be dealing with the justice system or something here was unfair okay with another aries a leo or a sagittarius some type of trouble could be coming out or maybe you feel like you have unfinished business with this person this is the ace of cups but somebody here could be lying. I see the King of Swords in reverse. Somebody here could be lying on someone. They could be lying on the Queen of Swords or this person's whereabouts, their moves, or where they're going. Okay. <clears throat> also, um, I'm seeing like some challenges. Okay. Somebody is choosing to leave something behind. Because it was just unfair. I feel like this could be you. Maybe you could be choosing to leave something behind because it was just unfair. Somebody did not want to take accountability. So I'm getting it, Aries. You could be turning your back on a situation. Yeah. And somebody here is ashamed. They're feeling embarrassed. Like they know they're in the wrong. I feel like Aries, don't feel bad for turning your back on people. I know sometimes like I be I be feeling like that too. Like I be feeling bad for turning my back on people. But it's goodbye. It's goodbye. It, it really is, Aries. It's like somebody's wishing that they could be in a moment with you, but this person possibly was a jackass. Yeah. A jackass um, could be going to a funeral or something here about a funeral due to pain, cheating, deception, mind games, backstabbing. You see this? We got funeral and backstabbing. So either somebody was trying to end you, Aries, and now they're 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 worried. They're they were playing. Th uh, they're they're thinking about you, but they're losing sleep about what they did. You know what this funeral is? That's like somebody's passing away. That's like the Five of Cups, Death card, Five of Cups. It's like somebody is losing sleep because they wanted to play these mind games with you. And now it's like the bad news is like this cycle is coming to its close or the cycle is ending. Something here was just over and over, round and round again. Uh, repetitive cycles. Mm -hmm. I'm getting somebody possibly wanted to end you, Aries. For some of you, Aries, there could be challenges here when it comes to somebody expecting a gold digger. Or either somebody could be pregnant. There could be challenges here with the pregnancy. Maybe you have a tough decision to make. Some of you could be finding out that you're pregnant. Okay. They want you, yeah, by a gold digger. Somebody here that's a user. Whew. Okay. Your angels could be, like, watching over you when it comes to, like, your health or, or something. So just be mindful. Something here could be like, maybe your health could be like um, getting better in the next like few months or so. Once you let go of like what has been like weighing you down or, you know what I mean? All right, Aries. Let's get some overall energy. Spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. Allow me to channel the messages for Aries. Any and all negative energy sent my way shall be returned to sender immediately, instantly. All right, what is the messages for Aries? What they need to know? What could be coming towards them? Or what do they need to know right now at this time? Okay, we got a cycle. Round and around, cycles, triggers, lessons. So this could be like a cycle or something repeat, repeat, repeating itself over and over again. We got the police station getting readings. So th okay, th listen, I'm going to say this. There are cops here. These people at this, this officer is getting some type of readings on you, Aries. Whoever this is, this could be a lot of people at the police station watching readings or getting readings or they're, they're, this could be a lot of officers like looking into psychics or getting readings here from psychics to get some information. Somebody here could be in their feelings in regards to a love spell that they did on their twin, but now they're blocked. 
because somebody here is just too reckless. They just do too much. Okay. So Aries, if you could have been dealing with your twin around this time, this person did a love spell on you. We got love, hate. I don't like that. So it's either you love me or you hate me. Running. Somebody here is running. What, away from love, running away from uh, somebody running away from love here. Yeah, moving on, letting go, loving you, free. What's round around for Aries? Yeah, closing the cycle. Yeah, Aries, I feel like a cycle is closed off. Somebody bit off more than they can chew. Oh, they just do too much. It's like they got to bite every last goddamn apple. It's like they got to try every last one. This is the type of person that got to try every pussy. Okay? Five, five, five. Yeah. Like I said, they got to try every... They got to step they, 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 they wiener in every one. Or whoever this is, if this is a female Aries that's not high vibrational, they got to... Because of this toxic lifestyle, I feel like this was illuminated to you about this individual. Or you were discovering that somebody here is just, they're reckless. Okay, some of you could have been illuminated about some type of love child that was created. This may have broke your heart. Somebody here possibly is pregnant. Yeah. <sighs> What's love, hate? GPS. Either somebody's stalking you. Are they trying to track your movement here with this GPS? Yeah, and then we got massive regrets. What's the massive regrets here? Under pressure. Something here. This person is under pressure. Something about time is running out. Okay. With this person that you could have been dealing with. This could have been like a, a relationship where it's on and off. Or connection where it's on and off. The shocking news. Somebody's your spiritual gift shocks someone. What's the shocking news here? You're gonna see something online. Okay. What is this about legal matters? Divorce, property, criminal, paternity, child support, traffic tickets. Somebody has legal issues here. And I feel like there is some shocking news about some legal issues. Or you may see something online, Aries, about someone here. Okay. I feel like somebody has a lot of money they got to pay. They being tricked by this karmic, this Jezebel, that's pretending to love themselves. Okay. Somebody's being tricked by Jezebel that's pretending to love themselves here. To put this person in their feelings. Yeah, shocking news that somebody fell in the trap. And they're praying that they didn't fall into some type of trap here. Yeah. What's the thug trap? I mean, um, praying trap. No strings. Yeah, I feel like somebody was praying they didn't fall into a trap. Because whatever this trap is, it's going to... This is going to... This may create some type of legal matters here. Yeah, pop the question. Either somebody wants to propose to you, Aries, or they want to give you a ring. It's like they're getting readings to see if someone is going to marry you or something like that. If you're going to get married or if you're in the self-love era. I feel like you're happily single. And you're not shady, Aries. We got shady that popped out in reverse. Somebody here wanted to see if you were shady. I'm getting you not. You love yourself. Like, you're you're not going to do no shady shit to nobody. Or you just not like that. Yeah, I feel like you are the truth. You have been illuminated. Okay, truth, discovery, awakening. That you need to let go of somebody. Or you're moving on. Yeah, about a tie. A karmic tie with a Jezebel. You're getting the truth here about somebody. That this person is a Jezebel. And, and they just, they reckless here. Somebody here is reckless with their vagina. Or reckless with their penis. Or whatever this is, okay? Moving on, letting go. And then we're going to jump into some tarot. Yeah, it's too late for someone to come back into your life. Somebody here is... It's too late. We're moving on, letting go. Rejected. Yeah. I'm getting you rejected someone. Or you're planning on rejecting someone. This masculine. For some of you... There uh, is a masculine here. We got the fake news, pregnancy, DNA, in re reverse. Somebody pregnant by their divine masculine, okay? 
somebody's pregnant by their divine masculine. Because with the pregnancy in the upright, this is fake news. In reverse, it's not fake news to me. It's actually real news. That I'm getting like, this is his, this masculine's baby. Give me DNA face and divine masculine. Yeah, left you hanging. No closure, no contact, left on red. Memories, toxic lifestyle. Mm. Living in a moment, I love you. Goodbye, family. Mm. Either somebody could be reminiscing. I'm getting a six of cups. Somebody wants to reconcile. Okay. This divine, give me this divine masculine for Aries. Yeah, this this masculine been having like reckless love sex, or they just been having a lot of sex. Okay, they just been very reckless with the sex. Yeah, and we got Queen B, secure, confident, boss bitch, career focus. So, <laughs> what is this Aries? Yeah, we got chaos, ego death, downward spiral, spiritual awakening. This masculine could be waking up to how they um been fucking up lately. Okay. Sex addiction, feeling like shit, heartbreak. Okay. I don't know. I feel like somebody's pregnant here or I don't know. Okay. Let's see what's going on, Aries. Let's get um what's the tea real quick? Let's see what's going on, Aries. <sighs> boy, oh boy, oh boy. We got boss daddy and boss bitch in person and there go divine feminine and divine masculine. So here go you and your masculine. Y'all both coming up together empress and emperor okay what's the messages here love on the brain dreaming fantasizing daydreaming nostalgic and we got player there's a player here that's thinking about you but this person may be threatened intimidated threatened bothered here curious about you what's this threatening running yeah you running away from someone i feel like somebody's trying to threaten you aries what's this player doing neglecting parenting bad parenting scared of, of hates parents somebody here this could be somebody here that's playing games when it comes to their children okay there could be a player that's neglecting their children maybe this player this could be the father of your kids somebody's dreaming about you whoever this is fantasizing this could be a player that's fantasizing about you, Aries, but it's like they're, they're neglecting their kids. What's this love on the brain? A karmic friend in reverse. Okay, this is weird. This is someone that's not your friend that could be fantasizing about you. So it's like they're looking you up. They're going through your comment section, and what they find in your comment section, they, they, they start talking shit, Aries. Okay, <laughs> whatever. Let's see. Maybe you cut somebody off, can't fully trust them. Tension, secret, competition. Whoever this is, they're not a friend anyway. Whoever the fuck this is. I feel like this is somebody here that fantasizes about you. Okay. This is someone here that, um, I guess they want to be more than friends. Aries, let's see. Let's tap into the energy for my Aries. We got the four of swords in reverse. Okay, Libra energy. What's going on for my Aries? Spirit guides, angels, and ancestors. We got the four of wands, the three of swords. Somebody's heartbroken. This could be like a four of wands connection. You could be dealing with the Libra, Aries. Heavy Libra and Aries is out right now. Okay, somebody here is heartbroken. Somebody is curious about how stable you are or how do you make your money. That's what I'm getting. Six of Wands. I feel like you guys make your money from being in the public eye or 
I feel like you guys could be getting some type of support, worldly success. The six of oh Aries, six of wands, the world, eight of wands, whatever this is that you're doing or whatever you manifest the Aries, that shit work, baby. Either somebody's trying to snatch your gifts. I feel like for some of you, you're coming up as like this magician energy where you're able to like manifest anything the fuck you want. And there's someone that's trying to take your manifestation gifts or what whatever you can manifest. And bring pull down from the 5D to the 3D in a physical. Somebody's trying to take that, run off with your shit, and take it to another lover, a karmic lover that they're imbalanced with, that they're not supposed to be with anyway in the first place. Here, Virgo, Gemini, we got Aquarius. Yeah. So, but I feel like Aries, Six of Wands here, you guys are getting public recognition, accolades. I feel like things are moving forward for you, especially when it comes to like your online platforms or if you are online. A lot of intention is coming towards you. We got the world, success, victory, and I'm getting this is fast with the Eight of Wands. Something is going to take off and move fast for you, period, okay? Especially if y'all on the right side of karma, Okay. Some of you guys are, are required to like wear more red. Okay, I feel like y'all, Um, I'm hearing something about my little pony or something like that. So like unicorns, maybe I used to like unicorns and shit like that. I know I did. I used to love unicorns when I was little. But yeah, the world is here. So you completing the cycle. I feel like somebody here is exhausted. They can't sleep. Okay, or somebody here is awakening to the fact like, it's like they have this dream and then they awake, wake up like, damn. Or somebody here is awakening when it come to you. So either you could be rejoining the world or you just coming outside more often, Aries, period. I know I am. I'm coming outside more often. Okay, and somebody's trying to watch you. What's the four swords in reverse? Nine of wands. Look at this shit here. Sagittarius energy. So either somebody here is like planning on coming after you, chasing you or whatever. Um, but yeah, we got the nine of wands. Somebody could have red hair. Okay. Either red hair, silver hair. Or you're planning on dyeing your hair red, silver. I'm I'm seeing green. Somebody got green hair. It's pretty too. Okay, the nine of wands. So either somebody's like planning on coming towards you or chasing you or Somebody's planning on doing something very impulsive or whoever this is, like, I'm getting, whoever this is, they try to chase you in your dreams or they try to, like, send, like, telepathic messages through your dreams. But I feel like you block this shit off. Like, nah. What's the nine of wands with the four swords? Very impulsive type of energy. Yeah, seven of pentacles. I feel like this is just not pleasing to you or look at her face. It's just like, yeah, no, you're going to have to try better than that with the seven of pentacles. No. Mm -mm. something is just you you're i feel like somebody wants you to invest in them and they're the nine of wands i'm getting us a no where's the inspiration where's the creativity where's the no like somebody wants you to invest in the nine of wands hell no i'm not investing in no nine of wands i mean they could be very passionate and they could go after what they want yeah but a nine of wands is flighty. 1818 18 on the clock. They flighty. They're in here. They're here the next day and then they're gone the next. Ain't nobody got time for that shit. So, yeah. Where's the real talent? Where's the real potential? Ain't none. What's the seven of pentacles? So, I feel like you're just like dissatisfied. Yeah, the three of wands. Okay, so this could be a Taurus, an Aries. Somebody here is on a Taurus, Aries, cuss. Aries, Taurus, cuss. Happy birthday. Okay, three of wands. I feel like you could be investing in something and you're waiting on your ships to come in, Aries. Expanding, growing here. I feel like you can see it. Whatever you done poured into this, like some of y'all could have been anxious for this, but I feel like it's coming. Heavy on a silver hair. Somebody has silver hair or they're dying their hair silver. Like I keep seeing the silver or somebody here is like older, more wise, mature. Okay, you know a lot. Um, yeah, seven of pentacles. All right, what's the four of wands? Four of wands is the knight of swords. So I feel like somebody here could be rushing towards you here. This could be a community of people coming towards you, Aries. We got the high priestess in reverse. The empress, they don't want you to use your intuition. I feel like you could be recovering from some type of betrayal. Ten of swords in reverse. The high priestess in reverse, though. I'm not really liking it. What's this knight of swords? Four of wands. Five of cups. Yeah, somebody's coming towards you. They miss you. This could be your twin. This could be somebody here that you were in a commitment with. Or this could be somebody here that you live with. There's an emotional loss here. 
this could be due to a child. I feel like somebody said something like yells at their child and then it's like you're rushing right over there like why the fuck are you talking to that baby like that or why are you doing them like that five of cups and the knight of swords yeah the two of wands this your energy areas you the two of wands four of wands and three of wands so you could be rushing somewhere here in your car with a chariot hmm this may have to do with the police or somebody here may be calling the police or this could be like, um, it's like somebody here is like very like ruthless when it comes to talking to their children and they could be calling the police on this individual. Whoever this is, what's the two of wands? Somebody's, yeah, because I'm seeing a phone in her hand and, 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 and she's like, nah, I'm letting that shit go. Let me call the police on you. You stupid as fuck. Yeah, this is like someone rushing to your house to attack you or... Or do some weird shit. What's this Knight of Swords? Yeah, the Seven of Cups in reverse. It's like, this could be an individual causing a diversion. Because I look at the Seven of Cups as somebody possibly causing a, a some type of diversion. Or they're letting go of some type of illusion. Yeah, the Queen of Swords and using your discernment. This is what you could be doing. You could be, using, you could be dealing with a Gemini. That's kind of like cuckoo, nutty and shit. Okay. What's the Two of Wands, Five of Cups? Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Somebody chose and, and they lost. If somebody was planning to do something, a player, baby, they fumbled that Ace of Pentacles. Whoever this is, they're losing. Investments, money, property, all types of shit is going to waste. This Ace of Pentacles, this is like the blessing card. This was like a new opportunity, a beginning. Somebody lost a new opportunity, a new beginning here with you all because they wanted to neglect their child or they wanted to play these mind games or they wanted to do some weird shit, okay? I feel like this Two of Cups, yeah, the Two of Cups is clarified by the Five of, uh, I mean, the Ace of Pentacles. I mean, the Five of Cups. But look at the Two of Cups. Somebody lost their soulmate connection due to these third parties, these cups. Look at this cups they spilled out. This person had you right here all this time as a soulmate union. I feel like somebody wanted to treat you like you were their child with this child neglect. I feel like this this child neglect, okay, has something to do with somebody else being neglected when they were a kid. And it's like they want to take their, their anger out on you, Aries. Whoever this is, or they want to treat you like a child here. Yeah, but I feel like you were the blessing, the Ace of Pentacles. You were the stable opportunity. And I feel like somebody lost that. They fun with that because they kept trying to attack you with this community of people. You know what I mean? With the four of wands here, this is a community. Okay. This could be like this person trying to attack you with this this four of wands. This, or this group, a community of motherfuckers. Now they're feeling guilty. This could be like neighbors, people that's in the same community you in, wherever community you at. People in this community here. They're hiring people to attack you or or whatever. Now they're looking stupid, Aries. What's the three of swords? So it's like somebody's hurt because you're running. Nine of Pentacles and not here they come wanting to come in with this slow ass offer. Okay, I feel like you really, really intimidate someone or you really bother someone. Somebody's bothered by you. So it's like they have to run away from you because they're bothered by you so much, Aries. I don't know why or who or what you did to this person. But here, somebody here could be lying, cheating, or somebody here's like crying. But with this Nine of Pentacles here, it's like, what's the Nine of Pentacles? Somebody here wants to come towards you. This is like, this is like a slow pain, slow heartbreak. I feel like you avoided something. You avoided some type of disaster. You avoided some type of slow heartbreak or a slow pain. Because the Nine of Pentacles, you know, they say the Knights, they be coming out of battle here. So this could have been like a slow battle or a slow heartbreak. Something that's slow to... Yeah, the death card. Yeah, the ace of swords, the death in reverse. Yeah, Aries. By individual not wanting to change. By individual not wanting to change. The ace of swords in reverse. And it's like they lied about changing. This person lied and said that... I don't know. This is like some type of confusion or... or um. This is an energy that feels like even though you're running away from them, you're still not like they they like you ain't going nowhere. Period, Aries. Okay, I'm just gonna say that. 
they feel like you're not going nowhere. They're going to have this 10 of cups with you, they said. Yep, yep. They're going to take this risk. Somebody feels like it's just not over. They don't give a damn how, like, how many times you cry or how many times they break your heart. Like, or how many times they cheat. You stuck with me. It's either me, you, and nobody else or some shit like that. That's what I'm hearing. What's that? It's me, you, and nobody else. <laughs> you with me forever. And that's what I'm getting. No matter how many times I lie, it's not over. I don't give a fuck if I lied about what I don't know. This is someone here that that caused confusion. Somebody is not logical. They don't have any intellect here or any new ideas. Somebody is refusing to you uh, they're refusing to strip away like worthless matter or they're just not trying to do the work. The death card in reverse, this someone here is like, man, it's not over. I'm going to keep lying. I'm going to keep being hostile. And I'm going to keep, I don't know. This is somebody just going to keep, yeah, being ignorant. The high priest is in reverse. This is an ignorant motherfucker. The high priest is in reverse is ignorant. Five, five, five on the clock. And I feel like you could be running away from this person. Somebody's going to be forever ignorant. Okay? Oblivious. Not wanting to wake up. Not wanting to see things. Not wanting to be a light in here about the Ace of Cups. What's the death card? It's like, yeah, for a minute, they somebody switch up like the, the weather. What's the Ace of Swords in the death card? The Four of Cups. Yeah, so this is why they miss opportunities. Okay? You could be dealing with a Scorpio, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, um, Virgo, um, Cancer, Capricorn, Gemini. Something here is karmic here. The devil with the lovers. Something here is very karmic. It's not, it's not, mm -mm. it's not respected by the most high. Somebody's really the star magician here. And they just lost an opportunity with this person. Ace of Swords in reverse. Because they wanted to lie. The King of Wands is a liar. Whoever this uh, Leo is, they're a fucking liar. This Leo keep coming up here about... This Leo is lying about collaborating with people here when it comes to this Ten of Pentacles here. I'm getting something here about an inheritance or money. They're lying. Or this could be another fire sign. This could be a, a Cancer, Leo Cusper, or somebody got Leo and Cancer in their chart. Leo Rising, Cancer Sun. Leo sun, cancer rising, or whatever. But this person could be lying about some type of inheritance money. They're lying about working together here with somebody else, with the three of pentacles here, or collaborating with someone when it comes to this inheritance, Aries. I feel like you like, man, it's cool. Everything fine. I know you motherfuckers is flighty. I feel like Aries, you just don't want to deal with nobody because motherfuckers just lie too much. So it's like you're running away from everybody that's lying. Okay, I feel like this group here that has been working together, some shit finna get worse for them. Whoever this is, give me this King of Wands, Ace of Swords. This person is a visionary. It's like the King of Swords, it's like they took action on this lie. They took action to lie on you, to cause you to be unstable, or they wanted something to be unstable for you, Aries. What's this King of Wands, Ace of Swords? The Nine of Cups. Yeah, this, was, this all had to do with selfishness to get something. Somebody wanted your accolades, your wishes. Somebody wanted your nine of cups. That's what I'm getting. This King of Wands did. So it's like they lie, 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 lie. King of Wands, Ace of Swords. I'm trying to tell you. Oh, oh. I cannot get this. We got the star card. Aquarius energy. Some of y'all could be like famous or you're about to be famous or you're about to be world renowned or you're going to be seen like on large platforms here. I'm getting it's like you have the, somebody here is hoping for your wish or they're having faith that they could get something of yours all due to a lie. <laughs> what's this? What's this star? It's like they're trying to manifest your shit. They're trying to manifest the world. Yeah, with the page of pentacles. But this person doesn't have any follow through or they don't know too much or they're not smart enough. They're not. They're not. It's just they're, they're just not it. The Knight of Cups thinking that they could come and love mom you and. And, and take what's yours or take your energy or or whatever this is they can't take shit from you aries i feel like you too high vibrational yeah the five of swords so it's like this is how this energy is coming to you to reconcile like they don't want revenge what's the star in the nine of cups aquarius um uh, pisces energy we got the emperor what's this emperor here there go um this emperor wants to come out of the cold with you 
or this is you Aries somebody wants to come out of the cold with you it could be an Aquarius a Pisces a Taurus they want to come out of the cold with you okay or some of you could be recovering from something okay you could be recovering from what's the spot for pentacles here from poverty or, or something here behind the scenes the moon This is what you're thinking. You want to come out of the cold with someone. But you're coming up in an upright, very stable, your father figure. Something here is going on behind the scenes. Behind the scenes, you could be getting better or you could be recovering from something behind the scenes here. Okay. What's this moon? Cancer Pisces energy. Ooh, we got the justice in reverse. Wow. Bad karma. Yeah. Oh, wow. We got the justice in reverse. It's like secretly somebody was trying to do something unjust, unjustified. They were like, something is not balanced behind the scenes. We got the moon. Libra energy. Mm -hmm. Either you could be thinking about, um, somebody here is thinking, but the emperor is you, Aries. So either you or somebody else could be thinking about how they didn't take accountability okay for their actions behind the scenes or how they would say because i'm looking at this moon this is like somebody able to be controlled by some type of entity here they're they're able to be controlled by this entity you see what i'm saying it's like somebody did moon magic and it's like they they didn't see that it was an entity or a shadow like right there or they're engulfed by their shadow with the moon card mm -mm. something here about fear Somebody is scared of karma as well. Yeah, it's like a lot of karmic retribution that somebody has to pay back. What's this nine of pentacles? Yeah, I'm getting somebody wants to come and reconcile though. Two of cups, the ace of cups. Somebody knows that you were you, you were sweet to them, you were kind to them, you were loving, you were loyal, but they still wanted to give you a hard time. So now that queen of cups is turning to that queen of swords, period. Ain't no more nice, ain't no more nice nothing, Aries. I feel like that's what you could be saying. Like, you're just not, ain't no nice shit here, period. Ain't, no, ain't none of that nice, that nice shit is out the window. Okay. Whoever this is, you ain't being nice to this individual. And you don't have to be. You don't have to be nice to nobody. Give me the six of cups. I feel like this energy wants you to... This energy wants you something here about the past. I feel like Aries, somebody gave you something here when you were a little girl or a little boy. There was some type of gift given to you when you were young. Okay, maybe you don't even know about this. Maybe you could be looking towards the past or you trying to figure some shit out here. The strength, the four wands. I'm getting this property home. Mm -hmm. And I feel like somebody here was like, is, is holding your shit back or they're trying to like stop you from getting this with the four of wands. Something was left to you. And it, it's like, they don't want you to have it. Four of wands and a strength card here. Yeah, they want you to be pro poor, broke, out in the cold with the five of pentacles. It's like somebody's hoping that you will be homeless, man. What type of shit is this, Aries? Somebody's hoping that you'll be out in the cold, homeless, insecure, or that you will always need them. Somebody wants you to always need them. The Star Five of Pentacles. Who the fuck is this? But I feel like I feel like a miracle is gonna happen for you. The magician here, Virgo Gemini energy. I feel like there somebody here is doing work, so that way you can always need them. But I'm getting it's like a turnaround because it's like Aries, you always gonna shine, or there's always a miracle that's always happening for you. Period. There's always some type of hope here. I feel like Aries, you like, man, bitch, I'm the good old man. What are you talking about? I'm the healer. I'm the earth angel. I'm the star seed, bitch. I'm going to always get what I want. Ten of cups. <laughs> You're going to always get what you want. The magician, you are the magician. You are the creator. Okay? You are the one with the potential. You are the one with the skill. So, I don't know, like, who the fuck this is. I'm getting this a fake-ass magician. Yeah, worried now. Heavy Gemini energy that's worried, feeling guilty about juggling you aries they feel guilty about juggling you because i feel like you're the one with the real skills you're the one that's able to manifest you're the one with the real power okay and the willpower you're the one with the actual gifts the star is somebody here that's gifted with the magician and the star man come on man 
the Ten of Swords. I feel like somebody tried to hex or curse your gifts or they didn't want you to be gifted. Empress, they wanted to confuse you with the Seven of Cups. They wanted to confuse you. Okay. Somebody always wanted to like have you like daydreaming or or I don't know make you believe that they were going to give to you but it's like they were always going to try to one up you be sneaky and lie what's the ten of swords or betray you even yeah so somebody's trying to do like some type of pecs okay because you are a star you're an earth angel you're a healer what's the ten of swords magician yeah we see what the fuck going on nine of wands why why they in the nine of wands why they for sure it's like this person never gives up they keep doing this shit they keep doing this shit aries yeah they and, and they keep getting their goddamn heart broken three of swords and they keep looking like a fool. Because I feel like you're going to always be stable. Nine of Pentacles. That's your birthright. You're going to always be taken care of. Aries. You're good. Okay. What's the three of swords? I'm getting this as your ex. Could be a Sagittarius, Gemini, Libra. Or whoever the fuck this is. Any goddamn sign that's doing this. And they always get hurt by their own spell work. It's like they laugh. They gloat for a minute. Yeah, the extra swords, that's the truth. They always laugh and gloat for a minute. Like, yeah, aha, look. We did that spell work on that Aries. Let's see if they're in the five of pentacles. And then miraculously, a miracle happens for you. And then they're in the ten of swords. It's like they create their own betrayals from coming from you. Nine of wands, the three of swords. Like, why the fuck y'all got to keep doing that? King of swords here. Libra, Gemini, or Aquarius here. What's going on? This person is, yeah, they're very hateful. The king of swords, five of swords. For some of you, this could be Aquarius. Don't have to be. It could be a Libra or a Gemini or somebody that has them placements. This person is very, like, ruthless and abusive with their communication. The king of swords with the five of swords, this is a hateful son of a bitch. This person sabotages themselves with what they say. I'm getting this energy is, like, very, like, it, it's, like, it's like somebody's like brutally honest, but their intentions are to hurt someone by being brutally honest. Like, yeah, I'm gonna hurt you with the with the by being brutally honest to you. But then afterwards, they feel stupid. They feel dumb as fuck. It's like they hurt themselves. This person like never gives up. They it's like I feel like for some of you, your wall is up with this person. Give me this king of swords, five of swords. Your wall is up with this person. Yeah, you can have a family by this motherfucker. Ten of Cups. You can have a family by this person, but it's toxic. This is a toxic family dynamic here. The Ten of Cups and a devil. Mm -mm. This is like an energy that wants the world to look at their, their life as it's the Ten of Cups, but behind the closed doors, it's really like the devil. Five of Swords. This is someone that has like like abusive communication skills. Like this is some like give me the five of swords. Somebody here could have been like trying to like play mind games with you. Yeah, the fool, heavy Aquarius, that's been trying to play mind games with you. Like it's like the battle of the intellects here. <laughs> I feel like you ain't no dummy. You know what the fuck going on. Somebody feels like you a dummy, but no, nah, it's like newsflash, bitch. You're the one that's the dummy. You're the one that's the dumb dummy. Not this deck. Let me see about this deck. Somebody else here is. They thought that you were stupid. Tell them to go on and get their money back. Because they tried to tennis. So they try to manifest a, a, a harsh ending for you. Whoever this magician is. But I feel like this went right back on them. Who is this magician? Let's call this motherfucker out. Like I said, hex, lover. This lover tried to hex you. Or whoever this is, special man, husband, boyfriend, potential love affair, empowering your connection with strength. It's like somebody get with you and then they try to hex you. And then it's like, they like, they don't think that you know. Or they don't think your ancestors going to warn you and tell you like, man, I know you're trying to, I know you're trying to hex me. And it's like, they're hurt by their own. It's like, somebody does not know how in tune you are with your ancestors, bruh. It's like you and your ancestors, like y'all two peas in a motherfucking pot. Bitch, what you mean? Like, if you don't you don't think that I'm in tune and you're going and you're dibbling in magic, it's like somebody's dibbling in magic and they don't even know how spiritual, like your spiritual ranking and what you know in the spiritual realm. They're going to always be in this nine of wands energy. Hurt, beaten up. Look at them. They head. Fucked up. Because your ancestors was... Pop! Knock them right in the head. Fuck, I told you. 
You can't do that to this person. Somebody keeps trying you and they need to know, like, you can't do that to this person. The devil card. The devil could be under judgment right now. The devil could be under judgment. Whoever this is in this toxic environment, it could be this devil under judgment here. Any sign. Yeah, this karmic. Because they keep trying you, Aries. This person is going to defeat themselves. It's like they're going to keep trying to hex you, curse you, badmouth you, and then it's like they're going to fucking collapse because of so much magic that they did on you. They're going to fucking collapse. Ten of swords, three of swords. I guarantee you that. Yup. Yeah, the facade. There was a facade. Like, you, they wasn't trying to sacrifice you. Somebody here has been two-faced this whole time, Aries. Like, they were trying to cover up the fact that, oh, I'm trying to sacrifice Aries. But then it's like when you call them out on that bullshit by speaking it, they're like, oh, let me go no communication, no contact to make Aries feel like, to make Aries believe that it wasn't me trying to sacrifice them. Bitch, we know it's you. It's like, it's giving, like, when you call people out on that real shit, they want to be like, oh, you weird. Oh, you this. Oh, you that. Okay, so I'm weird. I'm this. I'm that. Because you've been trying to take me out the game. You've been trying to unalive me. And I'm calling you out on your fuck shit. Now you want to, oh, you're weird. You're weird, Aries. I don't know what the fuck you're talking about. Yeah, you're a fucking devil. A devil. And I feel like you're telling people that straight to their fucking face. You're a fucking devil. Two-faced, motherfucker, at that. Two-faced in one. Yeah, but trying to come in and, and, and give you a gift or take your gift away from you or or whatever. Yeah, a child. Some of y'all are <laughs> gifts. Pregnancy, a baby being naive, inner wounds that need healing, acting out when not satisfied, past love or longing for the past, satisfying, unfulfilled hope, spending time with child sweetness. Somebody here is pregnant. By their soulmate. All right, Aries. <laughs> you got karmic connection, past life, deja vu, spiritual beliefs, and health. Spiritual strength, constant change. You're spiritual or need to be spiritual. Nature's energy. What's this tree? Misfortune. Wow. Somebody here is going through some type of bad situation here with a karmic connection. Because love unlocks the keys. True love unlocks the keys. It unlocks the secrets here to success. Once you open your heart and let that, you know what I mean, that heart chakra, that, that love is the key. Love is the key. So whoever this is, they need to learn how to love. They need to learn how, they need to learn how to support people or, you know what I mean, be emotionally available, learn how to be vulnerable Okay, but this person feels like you can unlock some type of success here, but they lost you. So now it's like they're mourning the past here, Aries. I don't know, but I'm going to leave it there though, okay? I'm going to leave it there, Aries. <laughs> oh, shit. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, Aries. Um, like I said, hopefully you was able to find some messages in this reading, okay? If it don't resonate, you know what I mean? Just take in my take in consideration that this is a general reading. It's not going to resonate with all Aries, all right? But I'm going to leave it there, boo. We got uh, Libra next, okay? So Libra, tap in, baby. Bye, Aries. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn your notification bell on if y'all want to be notified for my videos. If not, then y'all got to do that. But other than that, bye, Aries.